In this lesson, GCP inspections procedure in Japan will be explained. The Common Technical Document, or CTD, is composed of five modules. Module 1 is a section which is specific to each ICH region, and modules 2 through 5 are common for all ICH regions. Model 2 is an overview and a summary of all documents, including quality of the product and data from non-clinical and clinical studies. And modules 3, 4 and 5 include reports of the tests. PMDA inspect modules 3 through 5 to check data integrity and compliance with GCP or GLP. This is a GCP inspection conducted by PMDA. PMDA conducts two kinds of GCP inspections, namely on-site inspections and document-based inspections. In an on-site inspection, the reliability of the case report form, CRF, is checked by comparing it with the source documents held by the sponsor and the medical institutions for the clinical trials. In a document-based inspection, the integrity and consistency of the clinical study report is checked with the CRF and other data such as monitoring reports, et cetera, is checked. The appropriateness of the implementation of the clinical trial, operation of IRB, et cetera, are also checked in both types of inspection. This is the outline of a document-based inspection by PMDA. First, the PMDA GCP inspector extracts the clinical and the non-clinical trials to be inspected in consultation with the review division in charge of the product review in PMDA. Second, the schedule for the inspection is established in consultation with the applicant. Third, the inspection team is formed. Fourth, the applicant is notified of the inspection. Fifth, the applicant is requested to submit the document to be inspected, which is received by PMDA. Sixth, the document-based inspection is conducted. In a case where the source documents for the clinical trials are held by a foreign facility, there is the possibility for PMDA to conduct an overseas inspection. Seventh, the inspection report is created by the inspection team. Eighth, a conclusion is drawn regarding compliance after consultation with MHLW. Ninth, the applicant is notified of the result of the inspection. This is the overall flow of a document-based inspection. This is the outline of an on-site inspection by PMDA. It is similar to document-based inspections. The differences between these two types of inspections are underlined. In an on-site inspection, the scope of the inspection is both the sponsors and the medical institutions, and the trials to be inspected are limited to clinical trials. On the other hand, in a document-based inspection, the scope of the inspection is limited to the applicants, and the trials to be inspected include clinical and the non-clinical trials. This slide shows the relationship between an inspection and the review process of the product. The corresponding review division is informed of the results and the findings of the on-site and or document-based inspection, and the information is described in the review report of the product. In a case where the findings of the inspection are very serious, the situation is reported immediately to the review division because it may affect the evaluation of the data. Significant issues may cause a withdrawal of the application, a reanalysis of the data, or a modification of the application document depending on the significance of the issues found. If the issues are only for information, it will need no modification of the review document. 
This is the timeline of the inspection and review process. Once PMDA receives an NDA application, the inspection division looks through the document and decides on the studies and the medical institutions to be inspected. Then, GCP on-site inspections of the medical institutions are conducted, followed by a document-based inspection and a GCP on-site inspection of the sponsor. When all of the inspections are completed, the results of the inspections are summarized to draw a conclusion regarding compliance after consultation with MHLW. Finally, the applicant, sponsor and the medical institutions are notified of the results of the inspections. This slide explains how to find the results of the inspection in the PMDA review reports. Item 8 of the review report describes the results of compliance assessment concerning the new drug application data and conclusion reached by PMDA. If you look at section 8.1, you can find the results of the document-based inspection and the results of the GCP on-site inspection is described in section 